Uh, welcome back my gardening friends well done a few modifications to um, what I called the rocket stove not everyone did but it's more like a, a fireplace but uh, if this works then I will uh, cement the uh, next few in and uh, the flames are certainly getting uh, a lot higher than they did before and uh, cheers to Nick that's the cup that I got from the uh, winning the uh, display on the sunflower challenge challenge that's working a lot better feed it a uh, little and often anyway let's go and show you a few things before we have a look at the sprouts well it's been so so wet and this is the first bit of uh, blue sky we've had for a while and uh, the leaf mold bin will take another bag of leaves uh, i've been meaning to show you uh, the uh, sweet peas that alan sent me from the dawn chorus plot they were in the greenhouse grow room they started to get a bit leggy so i put them outside and now it's getting colder and colder I'll leave them in the green ass. They'll be fine, but we don't want them get to get uh, too leggy. We've had so much water that uh, even this little area here has collected uh, so, so much water since I last showed you. I'm still on 19 bags of leaves and I probably won't get the 20th, but uh, 20, 19 of these bags will be plenty uh, for me this year, especially with the uh, weather conditions and uh, everything else that we've had to put up with uh, in 2020. On the bright side, no pun intended with all this sunshine, but I have received another lot of uh, guttering. Uh, some of these I've got to unscrew, but I've had uh, masses of end caps. We've got some joiners. So basically we've got quite a few full lengths down there, four meter lengths, so they'll go on to the uh, long roots and some of the shorter ones I'll be cutting down to cover the six meters along the polytunnel. We've got the uh, joiners, <clears throat> we've got the ends and we've got these as well to drop it straight into the barrels i was going to have a single one but i think i'll go for two then that way the siphoning system can work from uh, each direction so uh, got lots there don't actually use the other clips the actual to support them but i never refuse everything i can always pass uh, the materials on in a previous video you may have seen a, a fly tip find now this rebar I can use here and there to create a cage over what will be my uh, giant cabbage bed. So that has come in just at the right time. Brand new, never used. I can't understand why it was dumped when metal has value. Just uh, preparing uh, the potato bed for the overwintering uh, potato challenge. That will be uh, another video. Square foot gardening's tidied up and uh, it's only the uh, last of the New Zealand spinach. I'll see if that will go to seed. I've got others going to seed, but it's been absolutely wet through. Green manure around the Swedes are doing well. And uh, other than this one and maybe a another, a little bit of pigeon damage there, but overall over the last two weeks, there's been uh, nothing else. And I've took off the leaves that were touching the ground which were getting uh, eaten by something. Beans are all now tied up, broad beans. And there's the crimson, crimson broad beans from Marie Curry. And uh, there's my sprouts. There's green manure over the other side. I've been taking some of the kale off, especially the stuff that's uh, not been very good. If you remember, I, uh, found this shovel and uh, we had the broken handle so i was going to take the handle off that but when i, I took the old handle off uh, it didn't quite fit so i actually had to saw the metal off that and use it as a, a spacer a sleeve 
just a little bit loose so I used some uh, liquid nail and then screwed it from either side so hopefully that will last a lot longer but of course plastic doesn't last forever and so because I've uh, got a welder this is a really good uh, spade uh, so this is part of a metal signpost that's the bracket that would fit on a lamp column and I'll use the pipe to fit it and that makes uh, that's uh, never going to break I've had that now uh, quite a long time again the gravity fed siphon effect uh, barrels uh, creeping up now and I did notice there's a damn hole there I'll have to get that filled but you can see they're not far off level but I will leave it and see how well I did on getting all these um, as level as we could I've now received all the uh, road curbs that uh, I needed for this uh, slightly unfortunate but um, you might be able to see there some of them uh, are a slight radius but they're free so who's really bothered it's about a 12 meter radius um, i'll just have to uh, make them uh, look pretty so let's get down to uh, the nitty gritty now sprouts that i grow don't always look like this that's if they grow at all this year they've done really well uh, they're the uh, Crispus F1 club root resistant so whether that's made a difference these beds are new some had got bits of club root on on some of the brassicas but these beds will take a few years just to uh, settle down uh, the purple uh, the sprouting broccoli over there has done better than this bed here so I don't know they're all filled the same but we've just got to give them time to settle but uh, how I uh, look after my uh, sprouts now is by trimming off as we go I take the smaller ones from the bottom and these ain't too bad actually but they are bulking out quite nicely uh, let's just make sure we can see what we're going to see but we've got the smaller ones up here now and it's a job to get them to form but it's putting a lot of energy into this top one which we can eat uh, but it's not very big and it's just started to get a little bit of white uh, and uh, green fly in there if they start breeding and get too bad all these sprouts will get covered in um, poop so when we trim the uh, the leaves off these fresh ones as soon as you can get these bits out that will help keep your sprouts fresh less chance of them uh, going rotten and uh, I do tend to pull the odd leaf off uh, if I need to they come off really easy but we've had that much uh, wet weather here in the UK since the autumn it's just uh, unbelievable my raised beds are great wood chip paths are great I can get about but some of the things uh, aren't doing uh, as well so I've took the top off that one I'll do the same actually I think I'll leave that one it might uh, might fill out um, a little bit more yeah you can see that but uh, yeah it's just a case of uh, looking after them but uh, we'll probably have six to eight sprouts each so these will will literally last us quite a while now that now once I've taken out all the um, these bits when they've gone they'll stay here what's the point in cutting them off and taking them home and then finding that they uh, go a bit soft and uh, soggy um, they'll stay here hopefully they'll fill out and if you actually cut the sprout off right there and leave that bit I have noticed that they uh, do uh, do come again uh, I'll show you a, a close-up uh, shortly but with a bit of luck I'll have uh, lots of uh, sprouts again so that's four six seven and uh, one for luck or maybe a few more for luck it's exciting when you actually can actually grow these um, the sprouts uh, I'll just show you now where new sprouts are forming 
from these so where I've snapped them off they're not but if you break them off there the new sprouts start to form whether they'll fully develop or not but we'll see in the spring you don't know if you don't try that does look impressive um, I've just come across this um, that leaf's in the way excuse me that's it we'll get rid of that one uh, there you go it's a little baby sprout so we'll keep an eye on that uh, in future videos so if you're not uh, subscribed to my channel it doesn't cost anything and uh, consider subscribing and uh, hit the bell and you'll get notifications of uh, all the videos I put up and then you can choose the ones that uh, you'd like to watch but my playlist is absolutely full of really good interesting information on gardening on a budget well we're looking at uh, recycling and uh, reusing this is a, a fork that uh, I found it's a cracking fork but uh, it was never ever a good a good design where the shaft was attached to uh, this of course that's uh, really good steel this is rubbish steel you know what it's like guys so all I've done is uh, welded a couple of uh, brackets on to give it a bit more strength of course I don't really need a fork now because nearly all my beds uh, are no dig well they're all no dig so somebody may get a decent spade and fork in the future and you can see I haven't done nothing guys it's just been absolutely wet through a little play with this oh that'll cook egg and bacon really well um, yeah so if you, I've, I'll put the playlist for the rocket stove here, but this is going to be uh, Tez's fireplace now. This is what I'm going to call it. I've took another brick out the top, give me a bit more draft, and open this up. So now I can crisscross them, where in the little gap before it was just impossible. And uh, it's drawing the uh, flames through. They're uh, coming out the top, and uh, it throws a bit of heat out as well. So I think it's time for another brew. and obviously we need some really thin stuff so when I do find a piece that's uh, half decent I'll uh, just split it down the axe isn't sharp it doesn't need to be and uh, you just have to have a little bit of trust like you do when you ask the wife to uh, hit the nail while you're uh, while you're holding the nail but uh, yeah I like to keep this stocked up I've tried putting bigger wood on this but it doesn't uh, it doesn't work having the poor weather I'll get a stock up as you know I've got plenty of pallets and as I start using them I can get quite a nice stock on so I'll get this in the dry Uh, 
uh, that's drawing nicely and it is cold really really cold gardening to you all. Till next time my friends. Try for now.